Hey y'all, I'll be back in just a moment to start up the stream here. I'm just going to take care of some last minute things. Um, give me like just a couple of minutes. I'm just going to go put my kid to bed and then I will be starting stream here soon. Hey y'all, sorry about that. Give me just a moment here to swap scenes. Oh, that took a hot minute for it to load up. <laughs> okay, all right, I just need to take care of some stuff and my husband needed my attention for like just a minute or two because he wanted to ask me some questions. Uh, but good evening all. How is everybody? Eh? Tonight we're gonna get more into some more Danganronpa. Um, I'm hoping to get through most of chapter two tonight. Maybe we'll get into the uh, Deadly Life portion of it. Thank you for the follow, Toko Fukawa. <laughs> oh, I just realized 
Your name is one of the one of my favorite characters. I do like Toko. She's a fairly interesting character. I especially like her in Ultra Despair Girls. Uh yeah. Uh hopefully we get I'm hoping to get through more of chapter two tonight. Um tonight's stream might be ending uh about an hour earlier than usual. Usually I go until about 1 a.m. Uh, my time. I might stop at midnight tonight just because of the fact that I do have to be up tomorrow morning to go out to go and get my uh, first dose of the COVID vaccination. Uh, I finally uh, gotten got a booking for it because uh, it took a while because I'm just a, <laughs> I'm a fairly healthy young woman, so <laughs> eh, I don't have any real health complications. So I was near the bottom of the list <laughs> for getting it. For good reason, too. I mean, if I were to get it, I could probably bounce back from it, unlike somebody who does have uh, health complications, but. So that's the reason why tonight's stream might be a little bit short and why tomorrow I may or may not be streaming. Um, yeah, tomorrow's a little bit up in the air. I'm hoping to stream tomorrow night and do some more Danganronpa tomorrow night as well. But it depends on how I'm feeling tomorrow after I get my first dose of the vaccine. But anyways, I'm going to swap scenes here so that way you guys can see more of the game. Ooh, I'm going to make myself a little bit bigger in the corner there. I don't know why I'm so tiny. Oh, I think I know why I'm so tiny on this. Uh, I think that I was playing a different game one night and I wound up making myself tiny in the corner. Just due to the fact that... Uh... I want to say that the reason why I was tiny in the corner that night was just due to the fact of what game I was playing. I'm trying to think of a game I would have been playing that I would have made myself tiny in the corner. I don't know. That makes me wonder. I, I'm trying to think now what I may have been playing that one night, maybe. Oh, I think it might have had to do with, um... No... Maybe when I was doing some, uh, this guy uh, last week. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna jump right into the game here. Uh... I'm gonna go with the one that's got a little bit more time on it. Like, maybe by about 20 seconds, it looks like. Um... I think that's the latest, uh... That might be my latest, uh... Save. I'm hoping it is. If not, uh... Oh well. <laughs> uh... Yes, let's go into my free time. Okay. Uh, let me pull up my, let me pull up the report card here real quick. Okay, I think I will, oh, Momento, I'm gonna see. Okay, so Mambo, I've gotten the max SP boost. Did I, did I get, and I've got my max SP boost from Tahiro. Now, I I think I was de where was I here? I may have been debating whether or not I was gonna go talk to Mondo again or if I was gonna go talk to Chihiro. I might go to talk to Chihiro, meaning that I'll just kind of teleport there. Uh, I keep forgetting that those also those keys also work. Hi Nyan! Oh, wow. Surveillance camera. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. There's a lot in here to uh, look at. 
There's all different type, kinds of food stacked up, from basic ingredients, snacks and candies, to everything anyone could ever want or need. Hmm. Uh, is this the fridge Sayaka mentioned? It's stuff tight with food and drink. There's all kinds of stuff piled up everywhere. Uh, monitor. Break them up and what punish me. Uh, is this? Okay, there is a couple more shelves before I talk to Chihiro here. Everything's totally disorganized. Uh, I'm stuck piled up everywhere. Really? There's no. Really? There is no actual. Okay, that makes me a little bit sad that there's no Monokuma coins here. But I'm going to talk to Chihiro. And I wonder how that teddy bear actually operates. <clears throat> Could it be a robot with an AI installed in it? No, we don't have that, te that technology yet. Maybe it's some kind of bear-shaped cyborg from the future? Hmm, maybe. Should I hang out with Chihiro for a while? Uh, yeah, let's spend some time with you. <laughs> you want to sit down and talk for a while? Spent some time talking to Chihiro. Uh, I think I've got another camera. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see here. Yes, I do have more cameras. Okay. Yay. Oh, it's really amazing! <laughs> I'll take really good care of it. I'll hold on to it forever. I think Chihiro is so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Aww. What's wrong? That seemed like a pretty heavy sigh. You know? Oh, sorry. It's just everyone else is working so hard to get us out of here, but I'm no help at all. That, that's not true at all. But, but it's okay. You don't have to try and make me feel better. I know it's the truth. I'm completely useless without a computer in front of me. At least if I were a little stronger or something, then I'd be able to help somehow. Listen, you'll get your chance. I'm sure there will be a time when your skills will come in handy. So you don't have to worry so much, okay? My skills might come in handy? <laughs> if I get a chance, I'm gonna work super hard to chip in. When it comes to computers, you can count on me. You're right about that. No matter what anyone might say, you're still the ultimate programmer. Speaking of which, how did you get into programming? Huh? huh? Well, I mean, I always assumed most programmers were guys, so... Is it really that weird? No, nothing like that. I was just curious what got you interested in it. I mean, why programming of all things? You know? Why? I mean, there isn't much of a reason. I've always been kind of weak, you know? I was never able to run around with my friends or anything. We had a computer at home, so I killed time poking around with it. And I found out I really liked it. My dad was the software engineer, and he had a bunch of programs on there that he built. I found one of them and started playing around with it, adding stuff here and there. And that was how I ended up making my very first program. Interesting. What kind of program was it? A kind of database software. Database software? A user could communicate with it, and it would take that information and find what they were looking for. It was a way of interacting with the computer without having to physically type things up. She said it could understand the user without them having to type things out? So that would be... Voice recognition? You used voice recognition, is that it? <laughs> yep, exactly! 
you could talk to it and it could actually talk back. It was a lot of fun. It didn't even really sound like me. I would get totally absorbed in talking to it. Like a kid recording themselves and playing it back again. The key part of the program was getting it to recognize what I was saying. The recognition accuracy was the most important thing. Japanese is kind of hard, so it was pretty challenging. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Derp, 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 derp. Yeah, this game is originally in Japanese, so it makes sense that it would be... Um, hard for a program to understand the different... Um, because some words that are pronounced very similar have way different meanings in Japanese, like... I don't have any examples off the top of my head, but I've heard that, you know, there are some things that you... Or if you're, like, writing in any one of the three, uh... Written languages, basically, the... Or the... the like, the katakana, hiragana, or kanji. If you wind up doing a misstroke, you could wind up having that kanji or katakana or hiragana mean a whole different thing if it's not actually written properly. So it... I have no idea what you mean. I have no idea what... Oh my lord! <laughs> Romakia, that is... Oh my god. Ah, that threw my brain for a loop. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I mean, English does have that problem as well, because of the fact there are so many words that do sound similar, but also have... Like, uh, they're called... Huh. No. Yeah, hominids, I think, is the right word. Homonyms is, they sound the same, but are not the same word. Yeah, I was like, yeah, ice and eyes, yeah. Yeah, or some words sound very similar to one another, and at least with me, I've got a slight lisp at points, and actually it's getting a little bit... I'm I'm noticing that it's coming back again just because of the fact that uh my permit retainer on my bottom teeth is broken and uh I noticed that heard the wire has actually kind of nicked my tongue, so I'm trying to avoid having my tongue touch my bottom teeth in any way. I need to eventually go and get that fixed, actually. I might talk to my dentist about it when I go and see them and just get them to me. See if they can maybe file it back or even uh, see if they can remove it because of the fact that it's just not doing me any good now. Uh... Uh, uh, let's get back into the game here. Uh, but you were able to do it eventually. You're right. Yep, and right around then, my dad found out I'd messed with his software without permission. I thought I was going to get in so much trouble. <laughs> but all he said was how impressed he was. Software was able to take natural speech and pull up key search terms to retrieve information. I hope you get fixed soon so you don't have to suffer. Yeah, I hope so too, because, ugh. It is a bit of a pain in the ass, because... Ugh. My dad said it worked so well, and it was going to change the face of software interaction all over the world. The development costs are still pretty expensive, so it hasn't spread that much yet, but... Anyway, I've been addicted to programming ever since. 
I can't tell you how happy it made me to be able to make others happy. It's obvious how much you love computers. You seem to just light up when you start talking about them. Uh, sorry, I spent all this time just talking about myself. Oh, I had a lot of fun learning more about you. Huh? Huh? Really? Yep, I hope you'll tell me mo even more next time. <laughs> uh, okay, let's hang out again sometime. It's a promise, okay? Yay! Chihiro's report card has been updated! <gasps> I unlocked the skill alg algorithm! Holy fuck, can I not speak English tonight? <laughs> Give yourself a, a pat on the back, you've earned it! Yay! I learned a new skill! Sorry, wait for Chihiro, I'm back to my room. And it's now nighttime, okay. Nighttime is quickly approaching, but before it arrives, all students, please gather in the gym immediately. Emergency! Emergency! Gather in the gym? Why now all of a sudden? Really don't like the sound of this. I have a terrible feeling. Yeah, let's leave the area. Oh, hi, Kyoko. Oh, Kyoko, did you hear the announcement just now? Yes. I don't want to go, but we don't have any other choice, right? Can't imagine it's going to be good news, but it's not a good idea to fly here and now. So I'm going on ahead. I really can't do anything except what Monokuma tells me. I wonder, can I see where is everybody? Other than Mondo. Mondo's there. Yeah, and it looks like Fumi is in the gym entryway. And... Oh, it won't even let me look at the second floor right now. Oh crap. Hey man, you about to head in? Yeah, has everyone already gone on ahead? Shit. Looks that way. I don't like it, but nothing's good. Nothing good's gonna come ignoring that goddamn bear. Um, Mondo, you sure you're okay? You kind of went all out in that song, huh? Who went all out? That shit doesn't even phase me. Yo. You know, <laughs> they're at the edge of hell. I promise between men was waiting for me. Never saw a cup. Yo. Anyway, let's get our asses into the gym. Man, something unique must have happened between the two of them. <sighs> yeah, okay, I am hitting. Okay, Hufumi, why are you standing here? Hey, Hufumi, how come you haven't gone in yet? Why? Why is that? Mr. Knight, you don't scare me like that! Sorry, but we really should go inside. No, don't go. You can't go. Mm -hmm. That's what my ghost friend is telling me. I don't feel good about it either, but we can't just ignore this. Damn, that's true too. I, I guess we have no choice. I have to go too. Oh boy. Mm. 
asking us to gather together all of a sudden like this. What could he possibly want? Well, indeed, what might await us this time? <laughs> he keeps being this interesting, that's for certain. Ah, oh, Biaka, yeah, you fucking smug twat. How is that funny? Can't you, can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? Like how the housewife on a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode? What the heck? There's something totally messed up with you if you can laugh at a time like this. Which of us is actually messed up, hmm? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing in particular, just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here living in blind denial day after day. I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? I'm not in denial. That reminds me, remember how you kept talking about how the police or whoever would come help us? How'd that turn out? It seems to me there's no sign of whatsoever possible rescue. Well, Th that's just. Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. It's strange. That's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're in the middle of a major urban area. What? The police suck. Hmm. On the contrary, the mastermind may just be that powerful. Take control even of the police. Oh, this might be related, but... <laughs> then don't say it. Hmm. Nope, gonna say it. It's not like some occult About myth. last night. You're in the main hall, just staring off in the space. All of a sudden, I heard it. Huh? I heard a bug. Hmm. A sound, I don't really know what it was. What kind of sound? Well, like I said, I don't really know. But if I had to describe it, it was like a construction site, I guess? Construction site? I mean, I could just be making that up. I only just barely heard anything. Then you definitely made it up. It must have been just been the sound of the ocean that that hit of yours. Say, what? What you talking about, Toko? Oh, lovely. Oh. He's arrived. <laughs> what hero heard was it the sound of construction? But it could have been an explosion. <laughs> huh? <laughs> or maybe a machine gun. <laughs> that can kind of sound like construction in a way. What are you talking about? Beyond this point, my mouth is zip. My lips are sealed. I am fully puckered. It's a secret little secret. Fine, then let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us all here? You don't beat around the old bush, do you? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? But before that, you mind if I vent a little? I'm low on energy these days. My stitching's even losing all its shine and luster. I'm thinking it's probably become a this. Oh, I'm boring old everyday life. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. Something rife with danger and intrigue. Yep. Can I just be framed? The next black end hasn't shown up yet, and I'm getting bored. Hey, um... So I decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Motivate? Is it another set of videos or something? Are you gonna show us some demented thing to try and drive us all murder? Did, 
drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say. Just awful. You hear me? I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore. No matter what you do, I swear to God, we won't. That's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So this time it's... Embarrassing memories and secrets. As long as you're alive, it's a given that there are things you don't want other people to know about you. So I did a little investigating of my own. And I dug up some of your darkest secrets. And those embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. I'm going to hand them out now. So take a second to take a peek. As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at her feet. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously, I nervously pulled out what was written inside, and my entire body suddenly frigid. Makoto went to bed until he was in fifth grade. And there had to, like, I'm sorry, but wetting the bed until fifth grade, and there had to have been something bad, like something wrong to have happened. Uh, that that is not normal unless there's something happening from what i understand i mean it, it could just it, it could just be that also he was just a very nervous kid that was that was being tormented by like bullies and that at least his is on the good side of embarrassing <laughs> What? Uh, how? <laughs> How'd you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. You have 24 hours. If someone doesn't become blackened by then, all your deepest, darkest, most embarrassingest secrets will be exposed to the world. Maybe I'll roll by a crowded intersection in a van strapped with loudspeakers and spill the beans. Yeah. He can reveal his, but the others? <laughs> yeah? Wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you mean, meant by motivate? <laughs> yep, you got it. They're all pretty unpleasant. Trust me. None of you want me to reveal that stuff, right? Definitely something I'd rather people not know, but we'd never kill over, over something like that. what you say? He's right, your plan is doomed to fail. No one's gonna murder something for this kind of thing. Oh, oh no. Is it because for better or worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know no matter what. So I assumed you'd all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next remote. Mm, okay. Makoto, yours is not that bad. Realistically, you could get away with telling it and not actually, like, he didn't think about the other people's secret because it's to, like, yeah. Th like, there are some people's secrets that are, like, dark. Like, they, like, there is shit that they, like, they want to take to their grave. Like, I'm sorry, but some people's deepest, darkest secrets are like things that they want to take to the grave with them. They never want those to be fucking released to the light of day. Yeah, Makoto is sometimes, yeah, or. I'm sorry, but... I don't know if I really have any secrets, really. 
I mean, obviously... I, thank you, I just actually consumed liquids before you redeemed that, but I will consume more liquids. It's alright. <laughs> Man, you're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucked. Like, I, I, I'm sorry, but Monokuma's right. Like, there, there are just some people's secrets that are just like, Nope, I'm taking that to the grave. Well, what can you do? Okay, then in 24 hours, I'll expose your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. Okay. So sad, so depressed. They're not well. With an almost convincing look of depressed dejection on his face, Monokuma receded into Jim's death. So, um... I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one. I mean, yeah, having those secrets revealed is going to be totally embarrassing. But that's certainly not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Listen to me. Good news, everyone. I have a brilliant idea. You hear me? Why don't we all just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here and now? Without a doubt. If we do that, any and all motive for murder will vanish. It's pretty smart, right? Quiet down and listen. Okay, so my embarrassing thing is... <laughs> Bless me. Sorry, that was really loud. I turned away from my microphone as much as possible, but unfortunately I didn't turn off my microphone. Ugh. Ugh. Allergy season. Not fun. <laughs> I don't want to hear your stupid story. What? Besides, I don't... I don't want to talk about it. I don't care what anyone says. I don't want to talk about mine. Neither do I. Not because it is unpleasant, but because it is impossible. Oh? Well, it's just human nature to want to hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on, it'll be dead for ya. Absolutely not. Come on. Come it's okay. On. Just a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. Honestly. As I said, I said I don't want to talk about it, you human bag of lard. <laughs> I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. What do you think, Chihiro? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't really want to talk about it right now. But, but I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. So, um... If you don't want to talk, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. That's true. If everyone's that much against it, even if my bros will not suggest it, I gotta say no. Well, that's okay then. Either way, it's just a few secrets. I'm sure nobody's about to kill anybody over it. I hope you're right. Hmm. If I remember correctly, I think I know what some of these guys' secrets are. A secret so bad you'd kill someone to keep it. Uh, some of their secrets get revealed at the end of this chapter, I believe. But there are quite a few people's secrets that actually stay secret, I think. Nobody's got something like that, right? Okay, I'll stop with the, all the secret talk, but you hear me? each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're going to die because of it. So, you know, um, don't do anything hasty. But you keep repeating it. Kind of makes me worry even more. Oh, uh, okay, sorry. I know it's going to be tough, but... Hmm. <clears throat> this is a 
school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Hmm. Now you time old Freddy, huh? Okay, let's all call it a day. Of course. Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. I was left with an anxiety. I just couldn't shape, but we left things as they were and left things as they lay. One by one, we headed back to our rooms. Secrets or memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap when Kuma was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least that's what I thought. But maybe I was just being optimistic. Which is probably why, without too much of a struggle. Geez, more tired than usual. Super tired today. Fell asleep. But what I didn't know is that even then, the tragedy was taken. I think that this is where the next- I think that we're moving into deadly life now. I think that that was the end of the daily life, and I think that we're going to be moving into deadly life, meaning that there will also be potentially a trial tonight. Uh, I might actually get into the trial tonight, depending on how fast I get through stuff. Hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. It's about the prevailing world attitude right now. The difference between passive and active. I mean, for example, it's the difference between oops, I killed him and yeah, that's right, I killed him. Amazingly, there are tons of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? But there's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyone can kill someone in the heat of the moment, but surprisingly, few can do it with calculated intent. <laughs> to make that choice then put it into action, it's way harder than just letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation, resolve. So maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make? Well, I'm not totally sure myself. Maybe you should try reading between the lines. Uh, 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 I feel bad. I know what's going to happen next. Morning. Good. Good. Good morning. morning. Ah. <laughs> Nice reaction. I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint. What what are you doing here? Yep. I wanted to spice things up, so instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. What the hell for? Because it's fun. <laughs> and as long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear right from the day or so. You're welcome. <laughs> are you sure you should be acting this way back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy buddy classmates. Blah, 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 blah. Her face is all blue, like someone on the verge of death. What? What? What happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's for me to know, you to find out. Good luck. Something's happened to someone? Is it? Was it? No, it can't be. There's no way someone would. What if? No, what if Sir Pointless, especially now when the dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall. Mm. Ah, Makoto! Uh, um, Are you okay? Hey. Did Monica and I talk to you too? Hiro, Hina, Sakura, and Yakuya? You're the only ones here? Where's everyone else? Either they're already off trying to verify what said 
for they have fallen victim to the something that Monokuma mentioned. The something? Perhaps. It can't be. Has it happened again? Murder? After hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. It took everything I had to... It took everything I had to drive that thought away. Murder. So, if something really did happen, does that mean someone did it because of what happened yesterday? Huh? It can't be. That stuff is just a bunch of old memories. Just old memories? Don't be so sure about that. Clearly, if someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? To judge someone else's values based on your own outlook. Do you realize how dangerous that is? Oh, why didn't you say something yesterday? Naturally. Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. Oh! I swear to God. Pretty boy. Pretty boy that I want to strangle right about now. Oh, he is the one character that I would like to beat over the fucking head. I mean, yes, he has a point, but oh my god. He is the one character that I would like to take, like... I don't know if anybody here will get the reference, but basically Maka Chop with fucking big ass, the biggest book that I could get my hands on and actually use to fucking... Oh... Oh, Bakia. What good does it do me to go out of my way to help you? Just the worst. Stop saying that already. Uh, um... There's something wrong with him. For serious. Did he get brainwashed or something? Wait. That's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happened. That's fine. She's right. Let's all split up and begin looking. <laughs> the game is a foot. Yaki, can I just strangle you, please? Okay. Um. I think I already... I, I already knew what happened. Uh, do I want to teleport straight to where I know it's happened? I already know where, what's happened. I already know where the body is. Uh, but Danga and Rampa, but Makoto is the one who deals with the killing. <laughs> okay. Uh, I already know where it is. I just... Oh, God. This one always gets me. This one still gets me. Like, I am not... I, I hate this. I hate this one. I hate it. I absolutely hate this one. Huh? The door's open. But aren't they supposed to be off? For this investigation, I have unlocked the doors. Please look around to your heart's content. So doors that normally would be locked are now all unlocked. Investigation? It's all clear now. Just as I thought. Biakuya. I see. Judging from what he just said, there can be no doubt in what it really has taken place. Let me guess, it's a team up kill? Um. No, this one oh, is only a single body and a single murderer. I know that much. 
Um, I won't, I won't give away too much because I already know who the body is and who did it. It, it, it still is hard because, oh god, I... I... I'll say right now, this was one of my favorite characters. I, I really am going to miss this character because... I really did enjoy them a lot. I wish that they could have lived long because I really, really did like them a lot. Come on, and the locker rooms. They're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Do you agree? Hmm? Huh? Suspicious? Seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. Ugh. <sighs> I'll also say this. Somebody tampered the fucking crime scene. I already know somebody did, and it just no gods. He was muttering as if talking only to himself. Without waiting for a reply, he pressed his hand against the girl's locker room door. And the door swung open without a sound. In that moment, time seemed to freeze. Uh, please be warned, right now there will be a dead body on screen. I mean, yes, it is an anime character that is dead, there's pink blood, but still, um, it is a dead body. Uh, they are strung up, if I remember correctly. And, yeah, yeah, oh god, I hate this. I hate this one. So... Please be warned, there will be a dead body on screen. Major warning. Major warning. <laughs> I actually, you know what? Give me like two seconds. I'm going to make that an actual command because of the fact that, uh... I mean, technically, yeah, you could make this also a command. Um, so this is the new command. Uh, please read what it says. I will pause here for a moment, just give people a chance to read it. Um, like I said, there will be a dead body on screen here soon, so just please be warned. I will make sure that I will give a verbal cue as to when I am no longer in the room with the dead body, and I will make sure that I have collected all evidence from that room before I leave. 
thing is, is that if I remember correctly, I might need to revisit this room partway through the investigation because some other evidence comes up. I don't think there should be, but... Um... Yeah. Uh, this is a character that I did really enjoy. I, I, I feel really bad that, you know, they're no longer going to be in the game. Like, I, I really did enjoy this character. Warning, dead body now on screen. What? And how long it took me for me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at. But as soon as I did... Oh my god, Makoto, that is the most Curly ass fucking scream never. A wild, almost primeval, primeval scream escaped from my mouth. Yeah, I. I'm sorry. Give me a moment here. Chihiro it was one of my favorite characters. I actually really liked Chihiro. I just. Oh. I just, I feel bad that they're no longer in this game. <laughs> I will, um, I'll also give, um, <laughs> a little bit of, uh, uh, this definitely has to deal with secrets. This is definitely dealing with secrets. <laughs> uh. I am now in the deadly life portion. I tried to suppress my screaming, but it was useless. It surged out of me like water from a spring gushing out of the ground. Yakuya, on the other hand? Very strange. Most unusual, don't you think? He was totally calm, almost like he was watching this all unfold in front of a TV screen. I see. Look, Chihiro's corpse has been suspended somehow. Something's been written on the wall in blood. <laughs> Bloodlust? Hmm. Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. Wouldn't you agree? They killed her. How could it not be brutal? Hmm. No, that's not my point. This murder is far too bizarre for any everyday amateur to have committed. Committed it. Unlike with Sayaka, this murder was not a crime of passion and necessity. Hmm. Almost as if whoever did this did it for fun. See what I mean, don't you? What? My head was swimming. I was still reeling, too confused to understand what he was trying to say. Before I could even begin to clear my head. Hey, I heard screaming. Did something... <gasps> Chihiro! certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. Oh my god. What the hell was that? Ah, oh, that's right. You were unconscious during Sayaka's, so you don't know about it. What you just heard was the body discovery announcement. Apparently when three or more people discover a body, an announcement plays to let everyone know. I imagine it's so that the search for the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. Proceed fairly? The body discovery nothing? Jiro really is... Dead, yes. 
Before you start screaming your head off, go round up everyone. Seems another game has begun. Another life or death game to uncover a killer. Oh, Yakuya, I want to strangle you. I. <laughs> Taka bolted out of the locker. As everyone made their way to the scene, it felt as if no time at all passed. Killer plan. Yeah. <laughs> it was like my sense of time had just taken wing and flown away. When I finally came back to myself, I saw everyone had the same look of confusion, fear, and anger. We all just stood there, gathered around Chihiro's body. Damn. Damn. I couldn't keep her safe. So there's another victim. Which means we are now in the same position once again. Fuck, man. What the fuck is this? It's a dream. This is a dream. It's all just a dream. In fact, I haven't even been born yet. I don't have any memory of ever being alive. Shut up. Let me take a moment here, because... That's so funny. I love Chihiro. Chihiro was my favorite character. Um, give me a moment here. I'm just going to... I'm just gonna update that just so that way um yeah Ugh. I'm just a... wait, there's something written on the wall. Isn't that concerning? On the wall. Okay. No, there are more important things to worry about right now than Okay, so apparently they want me to look at the fucking writing on the wall first. The word bloodlust is written on the wall in blood. I don't think it's any kind of dying message. It's just too strange. But you know, that the thing about writing bloodlust in blood, doesn't it sound kind of familiar? The murderous fiend who kills again and again using bizarre and brutal methods. Now you the scene of each crime and the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. They're like a ghost attack and suddenly in a slipping way the police can catch up to them. What nickname did the internet give to this mysterious serial killer? Genocide Jack? Genocide Jack, a murderous fiend whose grisly attacks were famous all across the country. The ultimate murderous fiend, creating a reputation of abnormal, downright cruel killings. This is some copycat killer trying to imitate Genocide Jack's style? But why would anyone do that? Perhaps it's the work of the real Genocide Jack. The real... Wait, are you saying Genocide Jack is here in this school? No way. There's no way! 
I'm going so far as to my bloodlust in the scene. I'm surprised that there's stupidity. And can't imagine a worse situation than dealing with a stupid murderer. Ah, uh, but I'm... What is it now? Coco! Nina was pointing toward the entrance to the girls' locker room. Ah, uh, oh. Coco was the last to arrive, and now she was just standing there. No, no, why, why, why? Uh, Toko? She painted. That no, did not sound good. T Toko! Hina rushed over to the collapsed Toko and started trying to shake her awake. Toko, are you okay? Come on, wake up. Oh, that's right. I just remembered that she said what she said about how she faints anytime she sees blood. So she is hemophobic. I imagine, I imagine she does not watch too many horror films then. This isn't a violation of the rules, right? I mean, technically she passed out somewhere beside her room. No, I think it should be okay. The re regulations prohibit sleeping, like, on purpose. Ah, uh, so since she didn't faint on purpose, it doesn't count. Gotcha. Toko, can you hear me? Hey, you gotta wake up! As if she'd heard, her, Toko suddenly shot awake. As in, she literally jumped up from where she was laying. It was such a strange reaction, I was at a total loss for words. She leapt straight up into the air, changing her stance as she did. In no time flat, she was just standing up. Ignoring the physical contortions she had to go through, her motions were totally haphazard. Huh? What? Sorry about that, I was just so shocked, you know? It happens, right? Was I the only one? Toko, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Whoa, is that a dead body? Hey, are you dead? Uh, mm, yeah, this is another secret thing coming into play. She must have hit her head real hard when she fell. The world has a front and a back, a top and a bottom, a top and a bottom, a sea of truth and a web of lies. This is quite concerning. I mean, she sounds completely different. No, oh, no, no. Everything's fine. At least the stutter's all gone. That's a good thing, right? It's clear to me that everything is not fine. Your eyes seem strangely vacant. It might be best if we take her back to her room for now. Good time being. So, um... I don't mind taking her, but come and help me. Mm -hmm. If you need help, I don't mind. Um... Haka, can you help me? Why? Huh? She totally ignored me? Very well. You take care of the girl and the rest of us can begin the investigation right away. And I assume nobody has got a, has a problem leaving Sakura Mondo, Mondo on guard duty again. Hold on a second. Rushing to an investigation. Mastermind isn't behind that. After what happened last time, surely you realize that. <laughs> Don't make me repeat myself. There is no question that Chihiro was murdered by someone among us. Hmm. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Of course. Right as rain. But don't take it as a bad thing. It's just a, it's just a fact of life. <laughs> because that's how graduation works. Then it's happened again? Is that what you're saying? Another one of us... Another one of us... Killed. Fellow classmate? What does that freak you out? You guys got no balls, you know that? Is there just nothing down there at all? Well, I'll do that at you pray to mine if you want. Monokuma? Hmm. I have no idea what to say to that. <laughs> like, praying to somebody's balls? Really? That wallpaper. Oh, are you talking about the poster in the background? Yeah. Schmixy, yes. 
actually, I don't have any either. Sorry. Stop monologuing us. Monologuing if that's what you came here to give us. You did bring it right. <laughs> I sure did, chums. Allow me to present the next Monokuma file. I know how much you must be looking forward to it. See ya later. So please do your very tippy top best on this investigation. Uh, Wait. We really gotta do another investigation? Examining the corpse of one of our friends? Having to suspect all our other friends? I hate this. I can't take it anymore. I hate it too. I, I, I don't know. I'm getting out of here. Where do you think you're... Where did you plan on going? Nowhere to run. Just accept it already. After all, blood is just a liquid. A dead body is a simple object. You are very enthusiastic about all of this, are you not? How can I not be? And if we don't unmask the culprit, we all die. But that's true, but to jump into it so soon? What? Friends don't kill each other, yeah. What? Do you want to die? Fine, then go off and die somewhere. Right now, go ahead. You're a waste of space. I know you guys can't see my actual face, but my, my, my eye is kind of twitching at this because I'm just about ready to fucking... If the Aquio was a real fucking person, he would get fucking decked right inside the head. God, I... I, I, I hate this. I hate this. A dead body is a object Chihiro wasn't an object show a little respect or i'll beat some into you see if mondo gets it oh mondo Calm down. everyone stop bickering listen there's some truth in what the has said yoko because if we don't solve the mystery find the killer our own lives are forfeit if the Akuya is right, then Genocide Jack is somehow the one who killed Chihiro. Unless we do something, more victims could start piling up. Forget more victims if we mess up or all dead meat. Hey, hey. Hold on, hold on. If that's your worry, you don't gotta worry any longer. In any one killing game, the guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people. What? I don't remember any rule like that. Actually, I just came up with it. I mean, if one person went around and killed everyone, your lovely student life would be all over, right? This the new rule has been added to the regulations menu. So then, in that case, why not limit it to one person? Um, well, in a good mystery, you don't want to miss out on at least the potential of a serial killer angle. <laughs> Just one would totally murder that possibility. Farewell for now. I'll catch you guys at the class trial. I can't say I understand his thinking, but if we can kill up to two people, then one more person's life would still be in danger. Which is definitely not good. We need to uncover the culprit before something else happens. You need to shut the fuck up. Well, for now, Taka and me are going to drop Toko off at her room. Nice. I'm going to get dropped off. There is nothing to be done. We have no time to stand around here. We must begin our investigation. Sweet. If we do not solve the mystery of who killed Chihiro, then we will quickly follow her into the afterlife. That's true. I hate this, but if I want to survive, me and everyone else, we have to do it. We don't have any other choice. First of all, I better check the Monokuma file to see what's going on. The victim was Shiro Fujisaki. The time of death is estimated to be around 2 a.m. 
body was discovered in the girl's locker room on the second floor of the school. Caused death was a blow to the head with a blunt object. She was killed instantly. That's all it says. Well, it's not like there's any point in complaining about it. No matter what, I gotta do what I gotta do. Uh, monochroma file has been added to the truth bulb section. Hey, Makoto, do you have a second? Huh? Did you need something from me? Of course. Life without purpose is quite dull, you know. Um, so what do you need? I'm gonna let you cooperate with me during my investigation. Huh? I'm purchasing your talent, the same talent which allowed you to solve Sayaka's case. Is this all? No, I just... You seem to have some limited use, which is why I've chosen you. You have the honor of contributing to my investigation, so you're inviting me to come with you. You're doing it in the most arrogant way possible, though. Let's go. Now then, shall we get started? But, but we need to get moving. There's no time to be standing around. I don't really know what just happened, but it looks like I'll be working with Yakuya on this one. Okay, well, the word bloodlust is written on the wall in blood. What's the meaning behind it? Bloodlust. I could feel the life draining out of my own body. It's a dead body. Chihiro's dead body. The more I look, the more strange it all seems. This must be genocide's handiwork. No, uh, but... But we're still not sure he did it, is that what you want to say? I wonder about that. Mm. Uh. Poster's got some blood on it. It must have happened during the murder. There's a fresh blood stain on the carpet. It must have been splattered with blood during the murder. There's a dumbbell on the floor, and this is blood stain. There's blood stain on the dumbbell. Monokuma file said a blow to the head with a blunt object is what killed her. Does that mean this dumbbell was actually the murder weapon? I don't imagine it could have been anything else. I don't know. Locker room dumbbell has been added to things. Mondo. Dude had a real complex about being weak. You heard Chihiro talk about it, right? All I need- all- I need to get stronger. Yeah, I do remember she said that more than once. Sure did, which I guess explains the trip down here. Wait, did she really need to get stronger that badly? I already mentioned it, but she was a girl after all. Most girls aren't all that strong. I don't know, man. I haven't really thought about that stuff. Cause of Chihiro's complex. I can't help wondering what it might be. Mondo's account. I use this locker room all the time. Now it's become the site of Chihiro's death. But why was she killed in the locker room? Actually, if you think about it, she could have been killed somewhere else than carried here. She was very light, that is true. It wouldn't be hard for someone to carry her, but still. I still think she came here on her own by choice. What makes you say that? She'd been talking a lot recently about how she wanted to get stronger. So you're saying she came here to exercise. But according to the Monokuma file, apparently she was killed around 2 in the morning. Did she really have been exercising that late? Hina or myself, they are usually in the locker room during the day, but so she was probably avoiding it then. Avoiding it? Although we invited her to join us for lunch, she never showed up. So I can only assume she was trying to avoid us. And instead, she came to exercise in the middle of the night. Perhaps, but it's difficult for me to imagine she would have come alone. She did want to start exercise, but she specifically mentioned she couldn't do it by herself. She needed support from others. So you're saying she could have come here in the middle of the night to train in secret, but that she also would have come with someone else. The possibility, I think. Huh. Now I believe it's about time for us to move on. Huh? Already? New clues will magically appear by standing around here. We need to check every aspect of this case. That's true, but... If you're satisfied, let's hurry up and proceed. 
so pushy. I got kind of the wrong person this time. Ugh. So, this is our next location. Huh? This place is related to the investigation? Figure it out for yourself. It's no fun if you don't, right? Okay, well... If I remember right, this card reader is meant to work with our handbooks, right? Do you have an issue with it? If so, you should take it up with one of mine. He said that thing quickly and sharply clapped his hands together. Did you call for me? You called for me? Has he been domesticated? It seems that Makoto has a question for you. you need something? Sure, what's up? Um, well, it's just about this card reader. Yes, the card reader have all been designed interface with your... With each of your e handbooks, you can only enter the locker room corresponding to the gender listed in your individual handbook. And it's impossible for two people in a row to go through the door while the door is unlocked, correct? If there was some sort of erotic terrorist on the prowl, the ceiling mounted Gatling gun would initiate a swishy slaughter. And the school regulations prohibit anyone from lending someone else their hand, correct? Of course. Correctly correct. So then that means only girls can go into the girls' locker room and only boys can go into the boys. In other words, Chihiro's body being found in the girls' locker room means, Hey Makoto, I can see right through you. See right through me? Let me tell me what you're thinking. Since Shihiro was found in the girls' locker room, the killer must have been able to get in there. As such, the killer must be one of the girls. Did I get it right? Good lord, you're simple. But am I wrong? You should pay closer attention to the regulations. The answer has been in front of you the entire room. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Only the act of loaning a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. <laughs> I would expect nothing less from the prodigal son of the noble Togami family. <laughs> so you managed to sniff out the loophole in regulations. Hmm. Knowing you, I would bet you created it on purpose, didn't you? Is that a little more excitement to things? Yeah. yeah! You're treating me like a puny little appetizer instead of the main course that I am. Now then, since the dead can't actually talk, they're not people anymore. They're things. Get it? Got it? Good. Wait, hold on. You're saying there's a, that's a loophole, but in order to borrow something from someone, then that means someone would have, would have to loan it. So, uh... So sleepy. Just listening to you makes me want to pass out. Be more like Miyakuya and get your poop together. Wow, Bonakuma, you didn't really want to say shit. You just wanted to say poop. Okay, fine. Fine. Or else I'll charge you with criminal negligence. No more questions. Figure out the rent on your, uh, your own damn self. Loan is like, I'll give you this, but you have to give me something of value, right? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, loaning it out to somebody is just basically, yeah, usually you'd have to give something of value, but. I think what they mean by loaning it out to somebody is if both people are alive. And basically somebody says, you know, okay, hey, can I borrow your e-handbook and the other person's like sure here you go like that is i think what they consider loaning um whereas somebody who's already dead uh can't exactly verbally agree to giving their handbook so somebody could borrow the handbook If that makes sense. That's fine. Well, I know you are unfortunately lacking in mental facilities, so or facul faculties, so I'll fill you in myself. 
Let's head to the main hall. Main hall? And that'll help you understand what's going on. Card reader. Yeah. Um. Okay. Oh. We came to the main hall. So, what are we looking for here? Does that mean I have to figure it out for myself? Okay, um. Give me, like, a couple minutes here. I need to get up. I'm sorry. It's just something I really need to get up, okay? I'll be back in just a moment. Oh my god, I keep hitting mute before I actually finish that sentence.
Okay, I am back. Oh god. <laughs> All right. Oh, that took a hot minute for my my little PNG to show up. At least on my side it did. All right. So I already know what Biakuya is talking about. So and just to make this speedier and so that way I can get to trial and hopefully get through the trial tonight before I have to go to bed. Because of the fact that I might end stream at midnight, it, at least I'm hoping to, because of the fact that, um, due to I have to be up to go and get my first round of vaccination tomorrow, so. Yay! Uh, there's a mailbox here. Could there be something inside? It's an e-handle. No, wait, there's three of them. But why are they, but what are they doing here? Hmm. So you finally found them. Huh? Did you know these were here, Biafia? I happened to find them by chance myself the other day. Seems there's a system in place where the headbook, handbooks of dead students get delivered to this mailbox. So then these three handbooks belong to Junko, Leon, and Sayaka. You can go ahead and confirm it yourself. I immediately turned on one of the handbooks and when I did, Sayaka. Okay, you're right. This is Sayaka's hand. Now do you understand? This is the key to the loophole that I revealed earlier. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to get it. Should pay closer attention to the regulations. The answer has been in front of you the entire time. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Only the act of loaning a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. Let's see. Yeah, now I understand. Main hall e handbooks. What? Hmm? Hold on a second. What's wrong? That's strange. Oh, the handbook. Won't turn off. Is it broken? Whose is it? The other handbook shows Junko's name when I started it up. And the one that won't turn on must be Leon's, right? It makes sense, yes. After all, he did get pummeled with dumps, dozens and dozens of baseballs. Pummeled with baseballs. Memory of it came flooding back. That cruel punishment which led to Leon's death. The execution that the mastermind concocted. The cruel, heartless death. You're right, it wouldn't be surprising for the handbook to break during that kind of assault. Hey, hey! Hey, 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 hey! Hey! What? That e handbook is essential to student life here. Crucial, integral, instrumental, a super big deal. There's no way it would break that easily. But it did. Uh, if I say it wouldn't break, it wouldn't freaking break. It can withstand up to 10 tons of pressure, and it's waterproof up to 100 meters, okay? I don't care how many baseballs you hit it with, it wouldn't do crap. Oh, but uh, even my amazing handbook does have one single weak point. It does. But it's a secret. I wouldn't want you to go breaking any more handbooks. Then Leon must have broken it somehow without realizing what its weakness was, right? Hmm, hard to say. You know what I think? I think his handbook isn't actually broken. But you might ask, how could that be? Leaving the question hanging in the air, Monokuma disappeared. What just happened? Monokuma said it's not broken, but it's an undeniable fact that it's not turning on. I don't see any connection to the case, so it doesn't matter now. I think so? Either way, something about it still bothers me. Thing is, I know whose handbook that is. Okay, then this should be enough of getting things rolling. Let's begin our investigation in earnest and track down the true culprit. Yeah, we need to find out who killed Chihiro. Hmm. Be exact, not quite. No, huh? not quite. What do you mean? 
What do you mean by that, Bjarkia? To be exact, not quite. Certainly, I want to reveal Chira's killer, but more precisely, I want to discover the true identity of Genocide Jack. Then you really think... You truly believe Genocide Jack is the one that killed Chihiro? Absolutely, I have no doubt that Genocide Jack is the culprit in this case. That murderous fiend is Genocide Jack, right? There's nobody else it could be. Murderous fiend who kills again and again using bizarre and brutal method. Or like a ghost attacking suddenly then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. <laughs> and what nickname did the internet give to this mysterious serial killer? Genocide Jack. They say he's killed thousands of people, but that's got to be an urgent urban legend. So, could one of us really be a demented, psychotic killer like that? You're not wrong, Dwinder. But words mean little right now. I have something that'll prove it, and I can show you. <sighs> okay, is there more to his conversation here? Uh, precisely, I want to discover shred in me. Yes, okay. And I have a basis to believe that, I assure you. Genocide Jack is one of those. Is there really proof? There's someone like there's somewhere I'd like to take you. And this will provide all the evidence you need. Evidence that you Genocide Jack is the one that killed your hero. Evidence that something like that really. Ah, hey you two. Big trouble. Need your help. I don't have time to We're busy. Leave us alone. But it's an emergency! Emergency! Come on, please! You gotta help me! Okay, Ellie. Ina, what is the matter? This is a serious emergency, please! Please, you gotta help me! Just calm down, okay, Hina? But, but, it's an emergency! An emergency? What happened? Something's wrong with Toko. She's acting super strange. Well, I mean, she was acting pretty strange earlier, right? What should we do, Biakia? Since it's Toko, I must admit I'm intrigued. I suppose we can take a second to see what's going on with her. Are you sure? Don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> oh god, okay, I really won't take you. I didn't expect that. I thought for sure he'd just say no, and that'd be the end of it. Yeah. Okay, okay, come on, hurry! W wait for us, Hina. Looks like she's headed to the dorms. To Toko's room, most likely. You're right. Such You're talking to the wrong person, you waste of space. <laughs> oh, fuck you too, Biakia! You guys are too slow! I think you're just too fast. So, what's this emergency? Well, after what happened in the girls' locker room, we left Togo in her room so she could lay down. After a while, we came back to check on her, you know, see how she was doing, but then we did. But when we did, it was weird. She refused to come out, and kept, she kept saying all this weird stuff. Weird stuff? We should try talking to her ourselves. Yeah, good idea. May as well give it a shot. The door swung open slowly and silent. Holy crap. An aura of negativity flowed out from behind the door, forcing a gasp out of him. Oh, uh, nothing. It's just that uh, Hina was really worried about you pulling yourself up in your room. Leave me alone. Um, yeah, sure thing. But could you open up just for a second? I won't I'll allow it. Huh? I won't let Genocide Jack have control. <sighs> if y'all can put two and together, hmm, I think you already did. Just like that, she slammed the door in my face. What was that? She's been acting like that the whole time, when I rang a little while ago. I'll drive it out the killer. Drive out the murderous fiend. It doesn't make any sense, right? I was afraid to leave her in there alone, so I tried to bust down her door, but it felt like something was holding it shut on the other side. I couldn't even budge it. 
Coco was scared enough to even bar her door? She thinks the same thing as Biafia? She thinks the serial killer genocide Jack really murdered Chihiro? Is that why Toko's so scared? Whatever it is, I'm really worried about her. Isn't there anyone who might be able to persuade her? Biakuya! Hey, Biakuya. Think you could ask her? From out of her room, I mean. Sure, whatever. Huh? You couldn't talk to her, Biakuya? Wow, I guess you can be nice when you want to. Biakuya is in front of the her door, not making a sound and press the doorbell. After a few moments... What do you want? Leave me alone. You're all so annoying. Um... Gakula! Yakuya. Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't keep our promise. But don't worry, never again. I, I won't let Genocide Jack have control ever again. That door slammed shut. Even Byakuya can pull it off. There's nothing else we can do. Well, let's get back to the investigation. Hold on. Byakuya, what was Toku talking about just now? Something about a promise? Hmm? Oh, I have no idea. Another one of her delusions, I'm sure. But, but if I say I don't know, that means I don't know. Just let Hina take care of Oh, yeah, okay. I'll stay here and keep an eye on her. Let's go. Well, then let's go. Without waiting for a reply, Biakia sped away. Biakia? I hurried up to catch. To catch up to him. I tried to talk to him several times to walk, but he didn't even look back, let alone say anything. He just kept on walking towards his destination. Finally, his feet brought him to stop in front of a certain room. A library? Come on, let's go in. Hey, hey, Biakia. Hmm. There are no clues there. We need to check elsewhere. Fuck you! There is! Fuck! Okay, we were in this room last week, Tuesday? Or no. Last week, Wednesday, actually, I think. Now, there actually was a cord here. Like, there was a cord that wrapped around the desk to be underneath the desk here. I know that my, uh, give me a moment here. Um, I know that my labels are in the way here. Give me a moment. So, there's a cord. So, there's a plug-in here. There is a, there's a plug-in in the wall over here. There are no clues there. We need to check elsewhere. Um, I'm trying to see if I can... Like, you can see the outlet there. Sorry, I just don't want to move my fucking avatar, so... Um, but you can see that there's a plug-in in the wall there. Well, there was an extension cord that led from this plug-in to just underneath the desk. Let me turn my labels back on now. Um, but yeah. I know exactly what he's wanting. He's wanting me to go in the room. I remember on the other side of this door. It's the archive, right? Hurry up and go inside. Oh, here? Let's go. It all makes sense once you're inside. Hmm. Whoa, there are so many books and files, and so much dust, too. So in other words... I would say there's enough value in this place to endure the dust. Hmm. Yeah, Byakuya is a bit of a dick. So many files stepped onto the shelf, but it's in all these things. Those documents are dangerous. Dangerous? They detail all the people who control the world from behind the scenes. Dangerous truth for a commoner. You mean like members of the Diet or something? No, I mean the ones with real power. The secret council controlling everything from the shadows. You're ready to be disappeared for it. Take a look. There's some very interesting people in there. You're just kidding, right? Am I? I'll just let it go for now. Okay, um. 
This shelf is stuffed tight with files without really thinking about it. Picked one at random. Oh, you have a sharp eye and you to look just like that book, huh? That's the report on a presidential assassination. The original is kept at the National Library. It won't be declassified for another 30 years. Are you sure you want to look at it now? There's no telling whose crosshairs you might wind up in for peeking at it. Uh, oh. Oh. If, if that's what I think it is, I think that's actually in reference to, um... The presidential assassination of JFK, I think. Not making a sound, I returned the file to the spot. I think it is? I could be wrong. Huh, it's a death plan. Oh yeah, it's the same one I saw Biafria using in the library before. What? Do you have a problem with that lamp? It was here before, then I moved it out there. Too dark out over there, so I thought I'd put it to good use. Yeah, I got another monocle coin. Oh, I said we got five. There's a wooden box. It's empty. Although judging by the smudges and dust, it looks like there was something inside. I wonder what it was. There was an extension cord plugged in there. It proved very useful when I was in the library. Extension cord, huh? Okay. So, other than the camera up there, um, let me try and click on the bookcase behind him. There's a ton of thick files stuffed onto the bookshelf. If you're thinking of looking through any of them, let me give you a little warning. Those things are filled with graphic, disturbing photos from all kinds of crimes. The kind of thing any normal person would ever want to look at. Be careful. Huh? What do you mean? All those files are there. There are all those files. There are investigation reports related to different cold cases. The those are internal documents for police eyes only. They're not the kind of thing you'd expect to leak. Oh, so are you finally beginning to understand the true splendor of this library? The entire reason I was in t interested in the library is because of this room right here. It's home to classified government documents, police records, things no ordinary person would ever see. Isn't it magnificent? This can't be for real, right? That's your guys' problem. Anything that doesn't fit into your preconceived reality, you label it a lie. It's not that, it's just, it's not like I totally refuse to believe it, but... I mean, there's just so much. How could anyone have put all this together? I suppose it goes to show just how much power Hope's Peak truly wields, or perhaps the mastermind may have wanted to provide us with enough entertainment to keep us from getting bored. Ah, uh, um, it's no use. I can't keep up with all this. It's just too unreal. It's wrong. I still can't believe it. What about you? How can you believe it so easy? Things like that are usually impossible. What do you mean, usually? Usual, normal, ordinary, simple? Those things don't exist anywhere in the real world. If you don't understand what they actually represent, you don't understand the nature of anything. You don't pull your punches, do you? Besides, what you consider usual is based on your common sense, right? What makes you think your own common sense applies to me at all? Documents gathered here are genuine. I have reviewed them multiple times, so there is no doubt. Hold on, you're saying you've read all these documents, and more than once. But all this has to be like top secret confidential stuff, right? So why... My family has a reading room just like this at our home. I was as bigger of it, and not as dusty. Huh? Members of the Togami family have access to any variety of government-related documents. That includes foreign powers as well as domestic. How is that possible? I already told you, there's a secret council that controls the world from the shadows. My family is a member of that council. 
And I have a thing of the bloodline that will allow me to one day bend the world to my will. But to become such a ruler, I must know all levels of this world, backwards and forwards. So whenever I have time, I like to review whatever documents and materials that interest me. That's why I can proclaim without a doubt materials gathered here are the real thing. This is beyond believing or not believing. Yakuya is actually starting to scare me more than the actual master mind. And what always interested me were the most, most were the cold case police investigation report. Reading through those reports has always been a hobby of mine ever since I was a little. It's excellent mental exercise. I've solved more than a few of those cases just by reviewing the reports. And among all those reports, one of my recent favorites this is genocide jack chase you're back welcome back nyan oh god yeah byakuya is kind of scary he like his family's got like a bunch of like info and the thing is is that oh god it's like his family's got a lot of info As he talked, Byakuya grabbed a specific file from the shelf. That's right. This is the complete case file. Every single report surrounding the Genocide Jack cases have been, has been compiled in here. Because there are so many, allow me to quickly summarize the main point. Again, there are two notable characteristics in every Genocide Jack murder. First characteristic is that every crime scene, the word bloodlust, is written in victim's own blood. And the second is when the victims are murdered, their bodies are suspended in a certain way. Blood lust is written in blood, and the victim's body is suspended. It's exactly the same as what happened to Chihiro. Save your surprise, the best part is yet to come. For the second characteristic, where the victims are suspended, the only ones who knew about that particular fact were members of the police and other higher up. By all accounts, nobody in the media ever found out. Huh? In other words, no one on the news, no one online, nobody knew about that aspect of each crime. Only key officials and the killer himself knew about this act of mounting the victim. Now, if you recall Chihiro's corpse, her body was most certainly mounted in this fashion. So how could the killer have known about suspending the victim? That's, right. That's the key question. But in fact, the answer is quite simple. In other words, the culprit isn't a, copy, isn't a copycat killer. Real genocide jack. Or it could just be somebody fucking messing with goddamn fucking crime scene, Byakuya! You, you, you let it be known that you knew about the, the, this case file in particular. That right there is the evidence that Genocide Jack has hidden himself among the rest of us. Like, Yakuya, really? Oh my lord, Makoto is so fucking dumb. Like, I am like seeing through Yakuya's bullshit right now. <laughs> then Genocide Jack really is such a brutal fiendish killer, really is walking around among us. Interesting. <laughs> Things are really starting to get interesting. Never imagined killing with such a reputation would ever become a part of our little game. <laughs> if Genocide Jack is really there, they won't be alive anymore. Hmm. Now, don't you think it would be good for you to take a look at what I've already seen? You might just manage to ferret out a clue or two. Do you get down on your knees and beg, I may even show you myself. Ex excuse me? Byakuya and his antics, and Makoto who believes him. Ah. Byakuya? I want to deck you, dude. Like, 
Oh god. Ah. Uh, uh, really getting down on his knees and begging. Now I understand why the roads just no. Oh, I'm not gonna go further with that. I'm not gonna go further with that comment. Never mind. Never mind. Um, be okay about that genocide jack case file. Can you let me see it. Well, you didn't beg, but I guess it's okay this time. Feel free to look at it in here, but you can't take it with you. Murder cases of genocide jack. Biarchia handed me the file, and I flipped through it with tense, nervous fingers. Suddenly, my hand stopped. I had reached the page where photos from the scene of each crime had all been collected. The names of Genocide Jack's victims ran on for several pages. And Parada, and you can. T oh, sorry. Uh, another dead body warning. Ken Harada, 32. Tetsuro. Honda 17, Shoji Kaku 23, Kano Isai 14, Take, Takeshi Yoshida 30, Koma, Komatsuna Taro, Takafumi Gono, U, Uchira, uh, Nao Hisa, Takeshi Masamune, Yu, Yuto Yumejima, there was no end to it. But one thing became particularly clear as I read. All the killer's countless victims were killed and suspended in exactly the same way. At the scene of every murder, the word bloodlust was left behind in victims of blood. Hmm. Now I feel like Pokia okay, is someone who messed with the crime scene. <laughs> yeah. Then take a look at the next page and you'll find another interesting tidbit. The next page. Profiling results? All of the crimes took place either on weekdays at night or during holidays, either day or night. The most common times when killings take place was on holidays in the afternoon. Based on these facts, it could be suggested that the suspect may be a student. Evidence suggests that the suspect lingered at the scene, but when they did leave, they were in a panic. Because an eyewitness has never come forward. It's unlikely there was any external reason for this. This confused behavior suggests that the, sus the suspect may potentially suffer from dissociative identity disorder. Now, this game does wind up making this disorder really, really put in a bad light. Like, this is a real mental illness problem that actually does happen to people. And it is usually to uh, dissociate from, like, trauma and... Um, like, this is a real mental health problem, and this game makes it a little bit of a... Uh, I just, I don't like how this game portrays it, not with this particular character. I understand that that's about the only way that you're going to wind up actually giving a split personality. But really, it's just me. The key point here is the culprit may well have a split personality. A split personality, like the kind of thing you see on TV. So I'm part of another totally unbelievable story. But this one is way more unbelievable than anything else up until now. Or maybe it really isn't. I don't know. I feel like my mind's gone numb. Genocide Jack case file. Alright, we should get going soon. Huh? Where are we going? Anywhere but here. We finished our business here, haven't we? Oh, wait, Miyakuya! As usual, Miyakuya turned and left without another word. I hurried out of the library to catch up. Oh, this is where we part ways. I have some things I need to take care of before the class trial. Huh? Just all of a sudden like that? Come on, enough of your annoying misapprehensions. You really think they'd be together the whole time? 
Take responsibility for yourself and do something useful. Move the investigation forward on your own. Goodbye. Well, goodbye. And just like that, he was gone. Just as quickly as he'd asked me to join, he'd cut me off. In the end, I felt like I was just some blazing game tossed around. Same time, I had uncovered some really important clues. Thanks to Genocide Jack. He is the one that killed Chihiro. That murderous fiend is one of us. But who is it? I have to find that out, no matter what it takes. And to do that, there's somewhere I have to go investigate with more time. I have to go back to the crime scene. The girls' locker room. I should check the boys' locker room, too. And the others might have come up with some info I might find useful on that. End. I need to find out everything I can. Can I go back into the library? No! Oh, are you kidding me? I can't... Can I go back in here? Yes, I can. Okay. Because there's something else in here. Not that. The sh not the shelf. Okay. Never mind. I'll click there. Click there. Just... Okay. Oh, it won't let me click on it right now. I need to actually... Uh... Go check the body again in order to actually uh so chihiro's dead body will be on screen again here for a bit just because of the fact that i need to check her dead body for specific things ah hafumi hafumi has discovered evidence revealing the identity of the culprit <laughs> another stat increase for me Evidence? What did you find? I cannot reveal that just yet, but I guarantee you that what I found will steal the killer's breath from his lungs. You sure about that? Oh yeah, Miss Ludenberg said she'd witnessed something worthwhile too. Really? What did she see? She refused to tell me. It's like when a girl bullies the boy she likes, right? Right? Okay, so where's Celeste now? The warehouse by the dorms. She was there, but at the same time, not there. What's it gonna be? Okay, well first, dead body. Thank you, Nyan, for using the, uh, well, that for me. Uh. Hey, Kyoko, have you made any progress on your investigation? Generally speaking, I have to get going. I have something unrelated to take care of. Something besides the investigation? What is it? Nothing you need to worry about. Just concentrate on the murder. But before I go, let me give you one piece of advice. You should examine Chihiro's body one more time, thoroughly. Also, her handbook is missing. You might want to determine its whereabouts. That's it. I'll be praying for your success. With that, Kyoko turned and left the girl's locker. I guess I'll take another look at the body then, and Chihiro's handbook is missing? That's something worth worrying about. Chihiro's handbook is missing. Blood stain poster. The blood is the most noteworthy part, but big breasted swimsuit model is pretty noticeable too. Girls' locker room doesn't seem the kind of place you'd find something like this. Don't get caused. Okay. Uh, Kyoko said I should examine the body one more time. I know she said thoroughly, but I do have my limits. Well, I better give it a shot anyway. Let's see. Chiro's hands are bound with what looks like some kind of rope. Rope was used to prop her up in kind of crucified position, huh? The rope has a plug? Wait, so then this isn't a rope at all. The more I think about it, the more that's not the only thing that concerns me. Chihiro's fatal injury was a blow to the head, which means someone shook her in the head in order to kill her. That's right, there's the issue of her being suspended in fatal blow. First, I didn't see any reason to think too much about either. Seeing them again after looking through the Genocide Jack file, something's not quite right. What does this all mean? Ah, uh, Genocide Jack, it's not the fucking killer, dumbass. <sighs> well, one thing most likely to tie all these mysteries together is the true nature of the rope that was used to suspend Chihiro. To figure, out, figure that out, there's a certain place I need to revisit and look over again. Plus, it might help to look at the Genocide Jack case file one more time. Oh, yes. Angie Rose. Yes. Yes. I'm very angry. Oh, God. I... Oh, God. I want to... I just want to 
beat fucking Makoto over the head with a goddamn fucking battle because it's just that dense. Okay, let's go check the girl or the boys from Tornado. Huh, this poster? It's a popular boy band called Tornado. Somehow it doesn't quite seem to fit in the boys' locker. But wait, that reminds me, poster in the other locker room is, that's right, there's a, definitely something strange about this. In the boys' locker room, there's a poster of a popular boy band. In the girls' room, there's a poster of big breasted swimsuit model. But the posters have been switched, but if they were, why? What reason would anyone have? Maybe I should talk to someone who knows a little more about the locker rooms. Two locker room posters, and there's a stain. Strange stain on the carpet. What is it? Boys locker room carpet. Okay. I know exactly who to talk to about those posters. Oh, I hit the wrong button. There is nothing here in the pool. Oh, wait. Yes, there is. I think there is, actually. I think there is. I could be wrong. Am I wrong? I thought that there was something in here. Okay, I no longer guess not. Why do I want to say there's something out here? Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. I think I'm wrong because I don't think that there was anything actually new. But um Yeah. Um, let's leave the boys locker room. <sighs> Go back into the girls locker room. Come on talk to Saka. You spend a lot of time exercising in the girls' locker room, right, Sakura? I've used it nearly every day since it opened up. Sometimes Hina and I use it together. Okay, then let me ask you something. Do you think the posters in the boys' and girls' locker rooms have been switched? Sorry, I can't really say. I never really paid any attention to the posters. I see. I see. But there is something that's been bothering me about the locker room. You see, I like to drink a little protein coffee every time I finish exercising. We have protein coffee? In the warehouse. It's not the highest quality, but I don't have a lot of other options. I mix protein powder with coffee and down a glass of it after exercising. Anyway, the other day I spilled some of it on the carpet in the girls' locker room and it left a stain. A stain? But I don't see any stain on the carpet now. Exactly, I noticed it earlier. The stain has disappeared. I can only assume someone came along and cleaned it up, but still, it is an unusually clean, as if there was never a stain here to begin with. Disappearing stain! Yes! Dude had a real complex, yay. Okay. Can I get something about badly or mentioned to the girl? And, uh, hero's complex, would you? Uh... Is there anything else about her body that I need to... Okay. Yeah, no, okay. Um... Okay. I think I'm done here. I don't think that there's a reason for me to be in the locker rooms anymore. Um, I am going to go check the library now. Meaning that uh there will still be dead bodies on screen soon because of the fact that i'm going to go look at the genocide jack case file again can you see the death animation if you got the wrong person uh by that are you meaning like do we actually see a death animation for, like, the class dying? That would be a great stress reliever. <laughs> like, do you see the class dying if you get the wrong- if you choose the wrong person when you run- when you go through the trial? 
Um, I don't remember. I think you just get a big old game over screen, I think is what it is. Um, but let me s Uh, I think this is where... Take another look at Genocide Jack's case. Mm, I know it was around here somewhere. Huh? It's gone. Did someone take it out of the archive? But the only one who would do something like that. I can't think of anyone but the Akia. But maybe the one dies first in the class after. Uh, no. It, uh... No, I think that if you vote the wrong person, it just winds up giving a game over. Um, okay, finally. The, no, I don't want the fucking shelf. Um, okay. I'm gonna make it back in here. Uh, box is empty. Extension cord was in there before. Thing from over here and put it over there. It should start over there. Ah. Oh, I have to click on the lamp itself, I think. Oh, the lamp won't turn on. Oh, I see. It's not plugged in. Lamp's cord isn't long enough to reach the outlet for me. But last time I saw it was simply at home, and it was definitely right here. Oh, that's right. Bianca is using an extension cord. There's no extension cord here now. Wonder if. Okay, there we go. I'm pretty sure that's all that I can get from this room. Um. I think I need to go downstairs and go to the warehouse. Um, where is the warehouse? That leads outside. There's the nurse's office. Oh, um, talk to Taka first. Hi, artificially, Catherine. Welcome in. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just nah, being weird. Sorry about that. Uh, maybe we should have confessed our embarrassing secrets after all. Damn it! I'm sorry, Chihiro. It's all because I wasn't strong enough. Um, I am in the middle of the investigation for the very first murder. Um, meaning that, uh... Yeah. Uh... The very first murder. Oh, yeah, no, it's second murder. Yeah, no, it's second murder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the second murder that's happened. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm... Ah! I'm not alright. Um, I'm pretty sure there was something about that bathhouse. Huh. Lockers. One of them is unlocked, but I don't see anything inside. Yeah, this is the second murder. That thumb is huge, but now's the time for taking baths. Um, what's this? Is it the heat source for the sauna? But I don't think it has anything to do with the incident. Mm. If you need help being point eight, I definitely will ask. Um, I'm trying to remember which I'm. I'm just gonna go to the. Actually, I'm gonna go to the warehouse first. I. Crap. Where is the warehouse again? 
I'm heading the wrong direction to the warehouse. The warehouse is down over here. Let's talk to Celeste. Celeste, what are you doing here? This is the warehouse. This warehouse is amazing. It has absolutely everything one might need to live a life. One might need to live a full life. From food to clothes to towels, there's an endless supply to choose from. I see that, but have you found anything related to the case? I knew you were going to ask me that. I thought talking about the warehouse itself might misdirect you, but I see it was pointless. Then did you find something? Very well, I will tell you if you were you. Last night I saw her here. Chihiro was in the warehouse. What? Really? This was right before night time. Hmm? Hmm? What are you doing out this late? Oh, um, I was just... Are you planning to go exercise, perhaps? What? How did you know? Because I can see a blue track jacket sticking out of that duffel bag you're carrying. Oh, you're right. Thanks. Well, I'd better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. Hmm. <sighs> she stuffed the jacket into her bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like that, she was gone. Yeah. I assume she was merely stocking up to go exercise in the morning, but it appears she ignored the nighttime rule and instead headed directly to the girls' locker room. If she hadn't broken our rule, none of this would ever would have happened. We got what you deserve, I suppose. So apparently she went to the girls' locker room late at night in order to exercise without anyone knowing. The strange thing is, there was no trace of the track jacket or duffel bag Celeste said she such hero carrying. To me and the killer would have gotten rid of it somehow. And, um Girl, I'm trying to think here. I am very much trying to hear uh <sighs> Okay, so there's the dining hall. I've already been to the warehouse to talk to Celeste. Archive, the library. Boys, girls' locker room. Um, yeah, I was in the library because I did wind up uh, checking to go and double check the genocide jack case file. Uh, it was already, mi it's missing now, so I think that Bjarkia took it. Um, I also already inspected the desk lamp and figured out that it was the, uh, that the extension cord was missing from there. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to think here. Uh, I'm gonna talk to Hina real quick because I think that she's also got something to say. Oh, Hina, how's Toko doing? Yeah, same as before, she won't come out and she just keeps on mumbling something about Genocide Jack. <laughs> so I just left her there. You, you left her? I had this all swimmy and I was getting pretty hungry. Yeah. Oh, but don't worry, I'm gonna head back as soon as I'm done eating. Toko's not exactly pleasant, but I'm so worried about her. Speaking of which, what are you eating? A donut, of course. Of course. There's two things I'm sure God created. Outer space and donuts. Really? I bet Chihiro would have liked to eat more donuts. Maybe that was her one big regret. Oh, I should have tried to spend more time with her. Come to think of it, who did she spend time with? Yeah, she was a little bit strange, didn't really hang out with other girls much. It was like, like she was trying to keep her distance from us. Actually, Sakura said something similar. She said that even though you and her invited Chihiro to exercise with you, she always refused. 
Yep, it's true. And it wasn't just us either. It's like she stayed away from all the girls. She just shy? I don't know. She talked to the boys all the time. Isn't it kind of weird to be shy around your own sex, but totally fine with the officer? Oh, wait. Maybe maybe she was used to guys spoiling her. The law says you can't judge a book by its cover, right? Oh, I never really saw her as a black kind of girl. How we use the count? Okay, so now I finally found all the evidence. Okay. Uh. Meaning that. Oh, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. Shall we just plunge right in? It's the moment you've all been waiting for. The class trial. You remember where to meet, right? Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. Begin the class trial or it's about to begin. The red door is right through there. Okay. And so is everyone ready to what? Am I blind or are we missing someone? Yo. Yeah, Toko's not here. And Toko is... I really don't remember. Come on. Kidding, I'm just kidding. How could I forget that little nut job? She's a crucial part of the class trial this time. What are you gonna do? Okie dokie, I'll go ahead and drag her out here. Please scream, just one moment please. And just like he said, a few minutes later, he reappeared, dragging Toko behind him. I told him I didn't want to, but he, he forced me. I can't believe you would drag a girl around. Terrible, you're, you're t terrible. So now, everyone's here, right? Okay, then, hustle into the, onto the elevator and let's get this show on the road. I'll see you guys down there. So shall we get going up some find out who killed Jihiro? Jihiro. Jihiro Futasaki. She was so gentle, so calm and meek. Nobody had any problems with her. Someone made the choice to kill a girl like that. That murderer is one of us. So one standing right here. I mean, I could talk to all of them before we go down. I gave you plenty to, to work with. Show us how far your logic can take you. There is something odd about Toko's behavior. I do not think we are shocked enough to explain it. <laughs> I guess I wasn't meant to help at all in this one. <laughs> Fucking Toko, man. Let's go to her so work good. Hmm. Ready if we're doing this? Hmm. Just kidding. I don't know why the killer did what they did, but I'm sure it'll work itself out. Justice always prevails. Right, bro? Well, I will uncover the villain who performs such heinous acts on a weaker individual. The me. I see you, Saki. I must admit, for being 3D, she's quite remarkable. Of course, just the idea of 3D makes me cringe. And Kyoko. Shall we go? Yeah, well, let's just get this sent over with them. We have no choice, right? We have to do this. Yes. Gave a small nod in reply. With one last deep breath, I walked toward the elevator on shaky legs. With each step forward, I could feel my heart starting to race faster and faster. As soon as everyone was on, the elevator began to descend. I couldn't get a handle on my emotions. I didn't stop speculating. The steel box sank with heavy clunking sounds deeper and deeper into the ground. And as we went deeper, the uneasiness in my heart grew bigger and bigger. The elevator was unaffected, however, and continued to descend without hesitation until finally came to a sudden stop. 
<laughs> what do you think? I redecorated. Isn't it so fresh? Isn't it it's so exciting? <laughs> Don't waste our time with stupid questions. Let's get this over with. Good, good, you're preparing to go. <laughs> Gotta say, I don't hate it. Not at all. Okay, then, let's get this show on. Everyone, please find your assigned seat. And so the curtain opened once again. A deadly judgment, deadly deception, deadly betrayal. Deadly riddle, deadly defense, deadly faith. Deadly class trial. Okay, I'm gonna save it there. Um, let's see. Uh, let me grab. I've already got Robot Jack. Algorithm increase the speed of memorizing a statement effective during non slot debate. Okay, yeah. And yeah, I don't have any other. Um. Now here's the thing. With how long it took me to get through the trial last time, I was in this game. I'm debating whether or not I'll even do the trial this time around. Um, just because of the fact that I really don't know. Let me get up again very briefly, but um, split the trial in half. Unfortunately, once I start the trial, I can't like I can't actually break it up. I I actually cannot um, pause it from at least not from what I've seen. If I can pause it, then I, I guess I can pause it in the middle. The thing is, is that I shut my computer down every night. You can say part way through. Okay, I didn't. I could say part way through. The other thing is, is I don't know if I because I was only going to go for about another 20 minutes. The other thing is I need to get up again. I will be back in just a moment here. Um, I'll leave the music playing in the background for now, but I do need to get up.
Okay, I'm back. I'm just... I'm debating here because of the fact that I did say that I was going to... But yeah, I was going to end stream in about 20 minutes-ish. Just due to the fact that I do need to be uh, up tomorrow morning to go for my uh, my first dose of uh, the vaccination. The vaccine for COVID and all that. And I don't know if I really want to save partway through a trial because it feels like to me it breaks up the uh, flow of the trial for me at least. I prefer to do the trial in like one big sitting like I prefer to actually dedicate a, a block of time to the trial. Like, that's the reason why last time I did one of these, um, even though it was just the tutorial trial and everything with uh, Sayaka's murder, I wound up going way over time last time I did this because I wound up going into for at least like six hours in total for my stream. Thing is, is that I'm only coming up on, I'm only on like two and a half hours on my stream tonight. Correction, actually, two hours and almost 40 minutes. Which makes me feel bad for ending stream earlier. But yeah, I, yeah, I should rest before getting my uh, vaccination tomorrow. Oh god, the final trial is literally going to have to be dedicated to its own stream. Yeah, definitely, because I think, uh, I think the fastest I've heard somebody completing the final trial is like three hours. I think that's the fastest I've heard. I don't know if there's actually been faster if like people like skip over a bunch of stuff in order for them to get it done even faster. But if they're actually like just listening to the trial itself and doing it at the pace that it's set at i think it's like a full three hours i want to say i could be wrong though um because each trial can be about an hour to two hours long roughly even though they should be even though i and the other thing is is that also i've got the uh difficulty set to mean <laughs> meaning that if i screw up, there's a very likely chance that I wind up getting a game over. <laughs> I actually damn near failed the very final portion of the trial last time around with the, uh... With basically the, um... Oh, what was that portion? What is that mini game called? I can never remember. Uh, mini game. The rhythm mashing, yeah. It... Um. Okay, non-stop debate, that's not it, uh, not with me. The bullet time battle. That's what it was. The bullet time battle I almost about failed last time around because of the fact that I've got this set on mean. Because yes, I decided to torture myself.
It's just... I'm... I think that I, since I've already saved with the uh, extra, um, with the extra, uh, skill added, I'm gonna return to the main menu. Um, I think I'm actually going to end it here. This is a really, this is a short stream. But I'm hoping that tomorrow, if I'm not feeling too wiped by getting my uh, vaccination tomorrow, um, I will do the trial in its entirety tomorrow night. Like that is something that I will wind up actually do. I will, um, Do the trial in its full entirety tomorrow night as long as i'm feeling up to it um i will definitely make a i will definitely post on twitter if i am not going to be here tomorrow night um uh my twitter is down in my uh down below my video feed here it's in with all of my about it it's in with my uh, bio stuff um, i will also make it its own panel in the future here soon i'm actually trying to organize all of my panels and everything and get stuff organized a little bit more especially since i've made affiliate and i need to really work on that um but I am going to end stream here. Um, I'm just going to uh, see if there's somebody live that actually uh, we can maybe show some love to. That at least I recognize them kind of thing. Um, if not, I'll see if there's just somebody that's also a, a vtuber that also at least um, The other thing is I don't want to drop you on somebody that already is like further than me. Gib Apple. Me? Hey? Them chew from <laughs> Um I'm actually going to quit the game so that way then it stops playing in the background. Um, I just don't know because I'm like. I think that I'm just gonna end it. I don't think that I'm actually gonna raid somebody tonight. Um.
I wish everybody a good night. I hope to be around tomorrow to actually do the trial. Um, but yeah, thank you again for like showing up and everything. Thank you to Toko Fukawa for the follow tonight. Uh, and thank you to any to a, any and everybody that actually has followed me and uh, subscribed so far. <laughs> I would not have gotten this far if I didn't have the support. So I'm very thankful for all the support you guys are giving me. Have a good night. I love you all. And I shall hopefully see you tomorrow night. Like I said, check my Twitter. Uh, if I, I will post there if I am not going to go live tomorrow night. Good night, all. <laughs>